everyone, Chris Entz here with another moment in history in the book, The Bedside Book of Bad Girls, Outlaw Women of the Midwest. Among the bad girls in the book is Victoria Woodhall. Victoria Woodhall began her career as a clairvoyant, taking money from people desperate to learn what happened to their loved ones who were killed in the Civil War. Woodhall eventually became a politician and was the first woman to run for the office of President of the United States, and she does that in 1872, where she planned to take money from people desperate to, well, it didn't matter what they were desperate to. Woodhall wanted to separate them from their money. Woodhall was not the right person to be a leader. There are a lot of people in jobs where they shouldn't be in those jobs, though. I've been traveling over the last few weeks, and it seems the flight attendants get younger and younger leaving me to think that they aren't the right people for the job. I'm not sure how old the flight attendant was on my trip from Denver to Sacramento, but her name was Kimmy, and I'm pretty sure Kimmy wasn't alive during the Reagan years. I guess because I'm older, I need an attendant that's older too. I think I'd be more comfortable listening to the safety instructions if they were given by a woman with crow's feet and not a ponytail. If they ever find anything on the plane that's out of order, I need someone with hose, heels, dress blues, someone that's dressed like a Marine, I guess. Kimmy was wearing a red t-shirt and a pair of khakis. She looked like she just worked a shift at Target before briefing me on the plane's safety features. There's a lot of qualifications to sitting in the exit row now, in case you haven't flown for a while. And I don't even know when that happened because I have an incredible klutz. I don't wanna be, I just am. I'm like Inspector Clouseau, and then I get on the airlines and they expect me to be a Navy SEAL. I know experts say that you're more likely to get hurt crossing the street than you are flying, but that doesn't make me feel any less frightened of flying. If anything, it makes me more afraid of crossing the street. With another moment in history, I'm Chris Entz.